Hello, Internet. This is, like, so weird. Um, but I had a dream, and I'm going to document it. Um, the dream is, like, really, really weird and stuff, and I already kind of feel it, like, leaving my mind. And so that's why I, like, jumped on my phone and immediately started recording. Um... <laughs> um, so the dream I ended up having was a really weird dream. We were living at my old house because I lived with my grandparents and then an incident happened in which I moved in with my mother. And before that, we lived in like our own house that like my mom and dad had basically got together when... And they were a happy couple and stuff um, back in, like, 2001, I want to say. Um, but what ends, ends up happening in the dream is, like, it was me, my brother, um, Zelina Vega, and... Um, It was, like, weird, because it was, like, a good Zelina Vega and a bad Zelina Vega with Andrade. And the bad one was in all black. And the good one was in, like, white. Um, and Andrade was in, like, black, because he was, like, with the bad one. Anyway, so what ended up happening was we were having, like, a little, like, party at our house or whatever. And for whatever reason, like, wrestlers were there and shit. And so we had invited Zelina Vega and Andrade. And Zelina showed up initially in all white. And she said that Andrade would be there later and stuff. And it was all fine and dandy and whatnot. And we were all, like, laughing and talking and shit. And... When Andrade finally got there, he was there in all black with, like, this other Zelina who was in all black. And they literally, like, started walking. Like, it was Zelina. Andrade was kind of just, like, Zelina's bodyguard. But, like, Zelina was walking around, like, the entire house. Like, starting to, like, kill people out of, like, an 80s slasher. Like, it was, like so anticlimactic the way she killed people. It was, like, weird. She just had, like, a just had like a sharp steak knife and would just stab people in the stomach or like in the neck and they just die and it was really weird and so I saw this and stuff and so I tried to go like warn my dad and my brother and stuff um well I tried to warn my dad and he wasn't listening to me because he was playing video games and so literally in my dream Zelina like patted me on the shoulder and like went and stabbed my dad and then turned around and like started walking towards me and I ran away and I ran to my brother's or yeah I ran to my brother's room and I was like Sean we have to get out of here Selena Vega psycho and stuff and like he didn't believe he like believed me but he didn't really believe me so like we went to leave and stuff but it was too late Zelina was hiding in our bathroom and she stabbed Sean and killed Sean and then I tried to go warn my mom, but it was too late. She was in the back smoking a cigarette, and Zelina had already killed her. And she basically was like, you're the only one left that I have to kill, da da da, da. And so I ran away and was running, running. Um, it was like a weird game of, like, circle. Like, I had run one way, and she would run the other. And it was like she kept trying to, like, cut me off, but it wasn't happening. And, like, we were running in, like, a weird half circle. Um, until finally I decided to <sighs> get on top of my dad's truck and try to, like, jump on the roof in the front yard. And Zelina, the one who was in white, was out there and, um, looked at the Zelina who was in all black and said, oh my god, who let this bitch out? And then she got stabbed in the stomach, um... And I, at that point, 
had like gotten on top of the truck and stuff, but hadn't like gotten enough courage to like jump to the roof. And then Zelina was like getting up on the truck and stuff. She had gotten really close and I jumped onto the roof and I made it and I was on the roof and stuff and then realizing I was fucked because like I'm on the fucking roof. Where am I going to fucking go? Um, and so like I'm trying to like run away and stuff on the roof and she, like Zelina had like problems getting on the roof but she got on the roof and was like approaching me and shit like with her knife and like a really evil smile and like and I woke up um feeling that same like fight or flight sense that I felt um November 2nd when I had that dream about a creepy dude breaking into our current house like I woke up with like the flight or flight fight or flight feeling and I woke up feeling like I was being like watched like really bad and it was really scary and um this week I've been like feeling really like down on myself I've been feeling kind of like just like going through like bipolar depression and like seasonal depression and stuff like I've been feeling a little bit like my life doesn't matter this week and I've been feeling a little bit like why am I here if like not if like it's not worth it like I've been really like in a really shitty mindset and um I just like like I can like interpret the two Zelinas as like the Zelina in black is like how I feel like working at the collection agency because I feel like I'm a soulless like prick who is like calling people when they're already down and trying to get more money out of them when they're already already down and like I don't like feeling that way I just want to help people and the white Zelina I can interpret as like the good side of me who wants to just help people and stuff and like yeah um, I guess something notable, because I mentioned it in my last video, um, I was dreaming in post-transition, um, so in the dream I was, um, I'm using air quotes, fully transitioned, um, I don't like, I like using that term because, like, I do feel like there'll be a point where I feel like I'm fully transitioned, but I know a lot of people in the trans community don't feel like you're ever fully transitioned. Um, <sighs> so yeah, that was my dream. And um, yeah, uh, going back to sleep.